Uh, so what we think's happened there is that the water's sat in it, rested it, and it's just corroded part of the crank. And it's important that the crankshaft where the bearing spins on is 100% perfect. Because the difference in those bearings that we've just put in are down to the thousandth of a millimeter. Now, a new crankshaft, we can actually get one. It's three and a half thousand pounds, so I don't fancy that. That was half the price we paid for the engine. So I think what we're gonna do is might be able to send this crankshaft away and get it refaced. Like, is that what they do, is that what you call it? Just like, I think the metal spray or something like that, yeah. yeah just probably, clean it I up. think they take some off and then build it back up with metal spray or something. I don't know, Bob. I don't know, perhaps there's another way to do it these days. I don't <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if they have to polish out the damage that's on that crankshaft, we're then going to lose metal, which means we're going to have to add a bigger bearing. And the bearing sizes only go up by the thousandth, so we don't have much room. So if someone does polish out the damage in it, they're going to have to re-add the metal back in somehow, which I'm not sure is even possible. But then we had the idea of using the crankshaft out of the Mercedes engine but it felt heavier than the DBX one. 18. 18 kilos. The Mercedes one was over 18 kilos. Oh, it's quite the But same. the DBX... It's like but it is lighter. Yeah, by like a kilo. But when that's spinning at like... Yeah. Six, seven thousand revs per minute, that's it's a lot of weight. It's gonna be a lot, yeah.